reports of long lines at health centers across the country today as people attempt to join the growing list of persons vaccinated against COVID-19. The Ministry of Health announced earlier this week that the rollout of the first dose of the Sinopharm vaccine, which began on Wednesday for people over 60 and for those with non-communicable diseases. According to reports, lines at the St. Joseph Enhanced Health Center, Gasparillo, St. Madeline, La Romaine, Carinage, Chagonas, Arima and Point Fortin started forming long before 6 a.m. Police officers have been deployed at each of the health facilities to assist with maintaining order. We were told the Movar Health Center could only accommodate 80 persons per day. And at the St. Joseph Health Center, 250 names were submitted before lunch. The other persons were told they would be accommodated this afternoon. And uh, giving us information from the recently concluded Ministry of Health media briefing, we have uh, Mahalia Joseph Wharton. Mahalia. Thank you so much, DC. Well, the Minister of Health, Terence Diasing, has apologized for the situation that occurred outside of these health centers. In fact, the minister said the ministry underestimated the demand for the vaccine. As such, the ministry and the CEOs of the various RHEs have implemented an alphabetic system using surnames. Minister Dian Singh said from tomorrow, Thursday, June 10th, those over 60 with surnames starting from A to E will be accommodated for vaccines. On Friday, June 11th, those with surnames beginning with F to J will be vaccinated. This system will continue into the following week. Minister Dian Singh said they are hopeful that this system will mitigate what occurred today with the long lines at vaccination centers and health centers across the country. He said most of the crowds have been handled or dispersed, and as of yesterday, Tuesday, June 8, 134,289 persons received their first dose of the vaccine. drive through vaccination sites might be a possibility in the future. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TPT News.